And finally tonight, we bring you inside Brattleboro's historic Latches Theater, our host location for this visit to Southern Vermont. Carol Lee McGrath talks with John Potter, the executive director of Latches Arts, as he tells us the story of the theater, the efforts to save it, and the American dream that's seeing it through. The Latches story started in 1901 when Demetrius Latches emigrated from Greece, settled here because there were other Greek families that he knew from his village in the area. He came here to America with $10 in his pocket and he started by pushing a fruit cart dozens of miles every day. Within the span of a generation, he uh, gathered the rest of his family here and they turned their fruit cart into a um, confectioner and ice cream stand and a, a fruit stand in a storefront. And then uh, they uh, started operating the first movie theater uh, in Brattleboro. It was not on this location. It was during the silent film era. Ultimately, by the 1930s, had 14 theaters throughout New England. When Demetrius Latches died in 1932, his four sons decided to build this theater as a memorial uh, to him. And this theater opened in 1938 as a hotel and a theater uh, with retail storefronts and restaurants as well. They built it as an entire town all under one roof. That was their vision. I like to think of this building as a kind of visual depiction of their assimilation. Uh, on the outside, it's art deco and very modern for the time, a very quintessentially American. But as you come in, you get uh, closer and closer to their Greek heritage and their Greek roots. Tell us a little bit about the hotel. Sure, the hotel is a 30-room boutique hotel. Every room is uh, different. Our chief uh, asset is that we give people direct access to downtown Brattleboro and all that it has to offer. Uh, so we really think of the entire downtown as the amenity that goes with our wonderful hotel. Of course, our hotel guests also come and watch movies here because we show the first-run movies in our theater every night on four screens. And we have many hotel guests that come down in their slippers from their room and go, go catch a movie. That's convenient. Uh, make, it, uh, make it their home away from home. You have some interesting films coming up. Can you tell us about some? Sure. Yeah, we seem to have a whole run of uh, really interesting uh, issue centric uh, movies. We, uh, All of Me is about eating disorders. It's from a Vermont filmmaker named Bess O'Brien who has done a number of other uh, very strong films. On November 3rd, we have Power Struggle, which is a documentary about the uh, decades-long activism around uh, the Vermont Yankee nuclear power plant. We have a film about uh, vaccinations uh, coming up, and we also have a film about climate change. It's certainly part of our mission to help the community stay engaged in these issues and to give uh, these filmmakers a forum. Now, there was a book that was recently released about Latches, and I know you're excited about that. Tell us about the book. Our Latches Arts Board President, Gordon Hayward, um, about a year and a half ago, got this look in his eye and said, John, I think I'm going to write a book about this place. So we launched on October 15th, Greek epic, the Latches family and the New England theater empire they built. And it's um, just an incredible um, gathering of all the stories and all the histories that had never been uh, captured or told or assembled in one place. And we see it uh, as certainly a very personal story about the Latches and about the family, an extraordinary family and their uh, American dream that they lived out. But it has uh, wider um, implications on the uh, role immigrants have played and the role of public uh, community gathering spaces uh, in communities as well. So we think it has broader appeal, but we're also just, um, you know, personally very proud of the book. So there's two different parts of, of Latches. There's the nonprofit and then there's the uh, for-profit part. Can you explain that? Sure. Uh, the Latches family operated uh, the hotel and theater for four generations and um, did incredible work to sustain the theater through changing times. But um, by about uh, 2000 or so, the, the last generation had uh, run out of gas. Uh, in 2003, uh, the Latches family sold uh, this uh, entity to Latches Arts, a nonprofit uh, arts organization, which at the time was looking for a big venue. What um, Latches Arts, the nonprofit, owns is the for profit Latches Corporation, which continues to operate the hotel and the commercial movie theaters and um, returns its profits to the nonprofit uh, in the form of a dividend. Um, the nonprofit's mission is to preserve this wonderful building as well as to uh, make this wonderful theater and other spaces in the building available for community uh, endeavors of all kinds from live performances and concerts to um, films 
of all different kinds and meetings. And uh, we've had a number of weddings here uh, on this stage as well. It's a dramatic setting for a wedding. So well, when you walk in here, you're like, wow. You know, you, you think of other cities or towns where, you know, some of this history is lost. Obviously, this was so important to your mission to make sure that this was maintained here. Yes, absolutely. And what you described is the reaction I get from everybody who walks in here. It's a bit like walking into a cathedral and everyone goes, wow, I had no idea uh, this existed. And uh, this Latches is a uh, unique gem uh, that uh, we're very pleased is still in good shape and um, we're very honored to have the role of preserving it. Okay, John Potter, you gave us a lot of good reasons to come back. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I want to get up and sing on the stage. <laughs> I just want to get up and say, give me the microphone.